What's up, beach bums? The weather right now is not great. It's been cold, like extremely cold yesterday. Today, the wind, I actually went to the beach today, and it's not as cold. It's only like 50-something degrees, but it was blowing about 20 to 25, and then it picked up to like close to 30 by the time I walked off and said I had had enough. So I'm inside today drinking a little bit of coffee and figured I'd come and talk to you guys about some things that you might need when you're out there beach fishing. Real soon we're going to be seeing a lot more pompano off the beaches. Spring will be here before you know it. So here are some things. I've got five items that I'm going to go over with you that you may already have or that you may not have thought about. Some essential pieces of the puzzle to being out there on the beach to be successful and to have a better day and to not cost you as much money. Item number one that we're going to talk about is water. Real profound, I know. I use these canteens, and I'm going to talk, not just for drinking, I'm going to tell you why, but I use these canteens, and I take I take two of these with me out on the beach. Uh, I just, use, and I actually have just a zip tie here, just so I can put it on my beach cart and let it hang there. It actually keeps water pretty cold. I got this at Walmart. This is a, uh, I don't know what brand this is. Uh, but I like it. it. It's pretty tough. It keeps water cold or stuff warm if you want your coffee out there on the beach. But it's really important to have water, fresh water on the beach, not just for drinking because I know a lot of you may take beer, you may take soda, but you are going to want some fresh water from time to time if your reel falls in the sand or if it falls in the water and you need some fresh water to rinse that reel really quick to get that sand or water off of it. Anytime that happens, you don't want to use that reel. You don't want to crank on that reel until you get a chance to rinse it off with fresh, fresh water. Very important. I always have a couple of those canteens with me, one for drinking and one just for that in instance when I need it, if that reel falls in the sand or in the water, which tends to happen a lot. Number two item that I would recommend taking with you on the beach is a pair of scissors. Uh, if you use fish bites, which I highly recommend that you do because it's a great bait, especially for surf fishing, you're going to want a pair of scissors. Uh, that stuff is not easy to cut with a knife and it's not easy to get off of the hook. If you've ever used it, you know what I'm talking about. It's got this little mesh stuff that holds the scent on there. And when it's on a hook, it is a booger to get off. So if you have a pair of scissors, it just cuts right off real easy. Also, if you're using braided fishing line, which I, again, I recommend for surf fishing, this cuts braid a lot better than, you know, a pair of pliers or, you know, whatever kind of cutter you have on your pliers or a knife. This works really well to cut braid. So definitely want to take a pair of scissors with you on the beach. It will come in handy. I promise. Most of you probably already have a pair of polarized sunglasses, but I highly recommend it. It's definitely important for the beach so that you can see cuts, holes, bars, structures on those clear water days so you can see down in that water and you can see a difference in depth from all the different areas. Definitely got to have a good pair of pol polarized sunglasses. I use Costa. You don't have to spend that much money. Of course, there are much cheaper brands, but when I bought those, I, I, my thinking was if I bought an expensive pair of sunglasses I might actually keep up with it better and it's rang true so far I think I bought those like three years ago and they're still holding strong so I haven't lost them <laughs> or broken them I try to take care of them because they're expensive but you can get I think like Calcutta's they have some polarized lenses and those are like 20 maybe 30 bucks uh, anything like that just a good pair of polarized sunglasses that you can see the structures on the beach very important to have number four item on the list is a good D hooker and I like this one. I, I don't know. I don't even know what the brand is. I got it at a local bait shop here, J&M. And I like it because it's it's got this length to it. You know, it's not a pair of pliers where your hand's right by the fish. But for de-hooking catfish, stingrays, bluefish, you know, anything that's really just got some really dangerous stuff, which a lot of the time you're dealing with that when you're saltwater fishing, all these things have teeth or spines or something that'll hurt you badly. <laughs> so this comes in handy. And with catfish, I can de-hook it and then I, I just grab the like top dorsal fin with this and then just toss it back in the water. So I don't, I don't even ever have to touch it or even really get my hand close to it. So Definitely going to want a, a, a good D hooker because you're going to run into some toothy, spiny, pointy, sharp things when you're out there saltwater fishing on the beach, I promise. Last up and very important and uh, probably not what you're thinking you're going to use it for, but a towel. 
Uh, you definitely want to always have a towel. I try to tie one up to my beach cart every time I am out on the beach because something that you're going to run into eventually when you're out there surf fishing, if you haven't already, is birds. Are birds. Is birds. Are birds. You're going to run into birds. You're going to have seagulls, herons, pelicans. They're going to get tangled in your line. It just happens. I, I can't tell you how many times I've had some type of bird, mostly seagulls, but pelicans sometimes which man those are a booger those things are fierce and herons and you're gonna want something to cover that bird and try to get that stuff off of it because they're not gonna let you get close to them until they calm down and usually what I do is I take a towel and I put it over their head make sure they can't see anything that allows me to get close to the bird untangle it get hooks out get line off of it whatever we got to do to get that bird set free it's a lifesaver if you don't have one, you're going to end up having to take your shirt off or something like that. And you, you know, you may not want to do that. Seems basic, but trust me, it's a lifesaver. Well, it's nice and cozy and warm and nice in here. And hopefully these tips helped you out. Some of these things you may already have. If not, you should run to the store and grab them before your next beach outing because I promise it'll make your life more pleasant and easier while you're out there on the beach and you won't be so stressed about messing up your reels or getting stabbed by a fish or being attacked by a bird. Good luck, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope it helps. And as always, you stay bummy. There's some stuff on the screen now that you might want to consider clicking. It's pretty entertaining stuff. I'll wait. Just one of these, or over here. I'm not sure where. You should click.